My Pack Horse family, what's going on? What's going on? We about to make them say, uh, like Master P in the No Limit game, because it ain't no limit to our success. Our success. It ain't no limit to how high we can climb in life. I guess the only limits is what we put on ourselves, right? Because sometimes when the pressure on, when the pressure on, it sometimes is when we want to give up. Sometimes when, when it seems like every everything ain't going how it's supposed to, we, we want to give up and just shrink back. But I think that's the time we say, nope, we in this thing to win it, huh? But listen here. Sometimes you have to confront your reality, you know, and understand that it is it is what it is, right? While also doing everything that you can to enhance the areas that's causing you concern. Whatever that may be, only you know what's causing you concern and who you may let it out to. But don't nobody know that better than you, right? So confront that thing. Don't run from it. Don't shrink back from it. Confront it head on and tell it, let's go. I'm on. I'm back feeling. I'm back feeling in my right state of mind now. Because when I was down and out and I was defeated, I couldn't think straight. I ain't know which way to go, right? So it's like sometimes when you feel that 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 you need God the most, it's when it's it when it seems like He quiet, right? Am I the only one that feel that? It's like man, I've been praying. I man, I've been asking for this. I've been asking for that. Man, I ain't heard nothing in a while. But beforehand, I was hearing it loud and clear. And I was going out. I was being obedient. I was trying to do everything I was hearing. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, come on, man, where you at? I know you say you coming. You always on time, but man, where you coming? I'm calling, you ain't picking up, you tripping, you sending me the voicemail, like somebody you don't deal with all like that, right? Man, but uh, I don't understand the reason for that, y'all, I really don't, but I do know this, I do know this, man, he always keeps his ETA, his estimated time of arrival that only he knows. He always keeps that, right? Because we didn't all been in a situation where we say, man, God is good, God is good all the time, right? We hear that all the time, right? But we got our own personal moments of that. And it seemed like they always right on time. It's always right when you need it. Always, right? So it's like sometimes we have to deal with our consequences from our actions. And our blessings, right? That come afterwards. Because they go hand to hand, right? You can't have one without the other. You can't have the consequences without the blessings. The blessings without the consequences. Because to every action, there's a reaction. And that'll never change. Right, so it's like with life, it's not about how much you have. Sometimes I think, rather than what you, what, what what you do with what you have to help you get to where you're trying to go, right? And that didn't that didn't always make sense to me. That didn't always make sense to me. But I'm out here learning. I'm out here growing. I'm out here understanding that I just I need help. I need help, you know, and uh, and I I need different perspectives. I need different opinions. I need I need it all because it's going to help me further along in my destiny and where I'm trying to get to. Right. Where I'm trying to get to each and every day. Right. So it's like even 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 when all the odds tell you you can't win your current situation. Right. Keep faith in your way forward and don't give up. Keep going when it seems like. It ain't no exit. It's like driving on the highway or driving in some incl- in, in some bad weather. Like it, it, you don't know when you go get to your destination, and that destination that seemed that it's only supposed to take you five minutes is taking you an hour. Like you know what I'm saying, and you don't know when you go get there. But eventually, if everything works out well, you get there, and you like whew, big sigh of relief. I'm glad now. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> So it's like, man, after you go through some things in life and you down and you out and you take some time off or you do whatever you need to do. It's like sometimes you got to reintroduce yourself to situations and the people. Right. Because every now and then life will whoop you up, man. Life will whoop you up, wake you up, then put you back to sleep like ain't nothing happened. Boy, you need to be knocked out like ain't nothing happening. Right. So with that, sometimes you just got to hold your situation together like some glue. And there's different there's different glues. You got the Elmer glue, you got the super glue, and you got Gorilla glue. 
It's a, it's a it's a piece of glue for every part of your life, whether they, you just need a little quick fix, you need a little something strong, or you need something stronger. They got something for you out there. And that's just what it is. We got to hold our situation together like glue, right? Because it's like even strong people need a place of refuge. Even strong people need a judgment-free zone where they can go and let their burdens out to the world. Because we get in these situations now. So much so that, that that sometimes you don't want to let it go what you got in the inside of you, you know, and that and that happens for various reasons. I ain't here. I ain't I ain't here to tell you that's right or that's wrong, but I do know that that everybody needs somewhere to go when they got a little something on them. You know what I'm saying? So I encourage you to do that if if if, if you in that position, right? Because it's it's like when all else leaves you, or maybe you can't get to what you want in the moment, like your gifts. And your abilities will always be with you, right? So that's why I feel like a big part of my call is to help people realize them gifts and them abilities that thing you got within you that ain't no, that 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 are not now one of us got but you, right? Can't nobody do you better than you. Can't nobody do your situation how you do it. Can't nobody do that thing you do like you do it. And the and and, and the craziest part about that is. Oftentimes, everybody else realize that thing but you. So you might hear people say, dang, they may say, you may do good in this area. You may do good in that area. That because they see something that you can't see in yourself. And sometimes it take, you might have to take a step back and pay attention to that thing because they might just be right. They might just be right, right? So keep, 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 keep finding reasons to chase what you desire out here. Find what brings you peace. That peace word, that P-E-A-C-E, peace, that's so powerful in this life. It's like a magnetic force. Fire will bring you peace and do it often. And when you're going through some things that you're feeling like too tough for you, draw into that thing that bring you peace. And watch how you just zone out from the world. Watch how you just forget about all your problems, all your pain, and all that, even if it's just temporarily. Or your vice ain't no different from that that person that go and may take a little drink or may roll them up some to to cause that's their vice. It may help them take a little pain away. But that ain't for everybody. We all find different seeks and means to seek peace and to seek shelter. And I suggest that you find yours in a productive way. And watch how it change your life. Watch how it be transforming. Even if it's just for a moment. That may be the only moment you get to yourself to really think your situation through. To figure out how you go get over that thing and keep on going. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Hear me out. Just hear me out, right? Sometimes... The magic is right on the outside of that place that you gave up. You gave up. You gave up. Right in the middle of that spot where that magic was waiting on. Y'all got a quick little, just a little quick little thing. Because y'all know I like to be transparent. Y'all know that I got a few little businesses that, a few businesses that I'm trying to build up. Yeah, I'm not turning a lot of profit in them right now. But if you ever try to build a business before, you know a lot of times when you're making money, you reinvesting it back into the business, right? So I was in here working on some marketing things, been racking my brain. The kids was outside running around playing. I'm in here just focused. And I couldn't get it right. I, I just re- I unplugged the printer. I unplugged it. I just I was like, man, I'm through with this. I'm tired. But some told me, man, plug that, t- plug, 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 plug that thing back in and try again. Guess what, man? Lo and behold, the first time I did it, made a few little adjustments. It turned out exactly the way it was supposed to. Right? But I almost gave up. I almost said, forget it for the night at least. Sometimes that magic is right there on the, uh, just right there waiting for you, man. Don't give up, y'all. Whatever you're going through, whatever, man, I'm talking about if you're at your high side, don't give up. Just keep going right when you want to give up right keep taking your strides with pride stay in this thing to win it man i'm trying to tell you y'all check this out man if this impacted you any little bit man hit that like button for me subscribe to my channel and maybe send this thing if you just send this thing to one person i'm very very grateful I'm very, very grateful for y'all just tuning in, listening to me, even if you don't do any of the above or the three. 
I appreciate y'all and I hope this helped change somebody perspectives change somebody mind and this keep helping somebody keep taking one step along to get further along in their destiny all right so thank you all for rocking with me man thank you all for letting me seek my peace that I need to keep going to refuel to recharge and y'all already know what it is man peace success and prosperity to all y'all out there. Peace out.